Hello everyone and welcome to SaaS Guru, your ultimate destination for all things Salesforce. Get ready to supercharge your knowledge and interviewing game, as today, we've curated a goldmine of Salesforce QA tester interview questions and crystal clear answers. Whether you're on the path to mastering Salesforce testing or a hiring maestro looking to sharpen your interviewing skills, this video is sure to help. So, let's get started. What is Salesforce, and why do companies use it? One of the top platforms for customer relationship management CRM, is Salesforce. Companies use it to manage customer interactions, sales, customer service, and marketing, among other functionalities. Its cloud-based nature allows real-time data sharing and accessibility from anywhere, making it a popular choice for businesses seeking to enhance their customer relationship management processes. Salesforce Classic versus Salesforce Lightning Salesforce Classic is the older user interface, whereas Lightning is the modern, more intuitive user interface introduced by Salesforce. Lightning offers a more streamlined, user-friendly experience with drag-and-drop features and is more adaptable to mobile devices. What testing tools do you recommend for Salesforce testing? Some popular tools for Salesforce testing include Provar, AssureClick, Selenium, and Jest, for Lightning Web Components. The choice of tool often depends on the specific requirements, such as the nature of the test, manual or automated, and the particular Salesforce components being tested. How do you handle testing in a multi-tenant environment like Salesforce? Salesforce's multi-tenant architecture means that multiple customers share common resources. When testing, it's crucial to ensure that changes or configurations made for one tenant don't inadvertently affect another. Using sandbox environments for testing, ensuring thorough data privacy, and understanding governor limits are essential strategies in such environments. What exactly is a sandbox and why is it crucial for Salesforce testing? A sandbox is a test environment that is a duplicate of the production environment. It's crucial because it allows QA testers to test new features, configurations, or customizations without affecting the live production environment. Explain governor limits in Salesforce. Governor limits are Salesforce's way of ensuring that system resources are used optimally and prevent monopolization by a single user or operation. These include limits on the number of SOQL queries, DML operations, and total API requests. Understanding these limits is vital when testing to ensure the system doesn't run into any limitations. How would you test Salesforce mobile responsiveness? The application is tested for mobile responsiveness to verify that it functions correctly on a range of devices and screen sizes. Using device emulators, real instruments, and browser developer tools, one can simulate various scenarios to check visual appeal, functionality, and performance on different devices. What is a profile in Salesforce, and why is it important for testing? A profile in Salesforce defines how users access records and what they can do within the application, like object permissions, field permissions, and other settings. When testing, it's essential to ensure users have the correct permissions per their profile to prevent unauthorized access or functionality failures. How do you handle the challenges of automating Salesforce testing? Salesforce automation can be challenging due to its dynamic nature and frequent updates. To handle these challenges, use a modular and maintainable framework. Keep tests atomic to ensure they test only one thing. Prioritize test cases to ensure critical paths are always covered. Ensure the automation suite is adaptable to UI changes. To keep test cases current, examine and update them frequently. Describe a particularly challenging Salesforce testing scenario and how you addressed it. For example, in a previous role, we had a custom module built on Salesforce that integrated with multiple third-party applications. Data consistency between systems was difficult to ensure. We addressed it by creating a robust suite of integration tests and implementing continuous monitoring tools to track any data anomalies. Can you name some Salesforce automation tools and briefly describe their uses? 
Salesforce provides several automation tools like Workflow Rule automates common internal processes and procedures to speed up work across your organization. Process Builder, a visual tool that automates complex business processes. Flow uses logic to perform more complex and multiple actions in a sequence. Approval Process automates the process of approving records. What are the key differences between Workflow and Process Builder? Workflow is an older tool that can automate tasks, field updates, email alerts, and outbound messages. Process Builder does everything Workflow does, but it also allows for more complex processes, multiple if slash then statements, and invokes a flow or Apex code. Explain the significance of Salesforce DX in the context of automation testing. A product called Salesforce DX, Developer Experience, offers a complete, all-encompassing lifecycle created for high-performance agile development. For automation testing, Salesforce DX offers features like scratch orgs, temporary Salesforce environments, which can be set up and torn down quickly, making it easier for testers to create clean, isolated environments for their tests. What is Salesforce Community Cloud, and why is it important? Salesforce Community Cloud allows companies to connect employees, customers, partners, and other stakeholders in a shared online space. It's a social platform for business, encouraging collaboration, sharing knowledge, and streamlining processes. How would you approach testing in the Salesforce Community Cloud? Testing in Community Cloud requires validating user permissions, ensuring data visibility is consistent with user roles, testing custom components or apps embedded within the community, and checking for responsiveness, as communities are often accessed via various devices. Which communities does Salesforce support, and what are they? Salesforce offers support for a number of communities, including the partner community, employee community, and customer community. Each serves a unique purpose, customer community for customer support, partner community for collaborating with partners, and employee community for internal collaboration. How do you handle data visibility and permissions testing in Salesforce communities? Salesforce communities rely on sharing settings, roles, profiles, and permission sets. Testing involves creating test users for different roles and profiles and verifying if they can access and perform only the permitted operations. Can you explain the role of Lightning Templates in Salesforce Community Cloud? Lightning Templates in Community Cloud are pre-built templates that provide specific functionalities and aesthetics for a community. They make it faster to deploy a community by providing a base structure that can be further customized. Testing these templates involves checking if customizations don't break the template's base functionalities. How would you ensure a Salesforce community is optimized for mobile users? I would utilize Salesforce's built-in mobile simulation tools to emulate various devices and screen sizes. Additionally, manual testing on actual devices, focusing on touch interactions, screen layouts, and load times, would be essential. What challenges have you faced when testing integrations between Salesforce Community Cloud and third-party applications? For instance, in my previous role, integrating a third-party e-commerce solution with Salesforce Community Cloud posed challenges due to data synchronization issues. We used a combination of real-time and batch processing tests to ensure data consistency. Thank <laughs> you.